Imagine being able to remember every minute detail of your life. You can recall what the weather was like, what you were reading, or what you wore to the shops at any minute, any hour, or any day stretching back decades. It sounds like some kind of parlour trick, but it's actually a real and very rare medical phenomenon. So far, scientists have identified 10 cases worldwide. And believe me, what these people can do will quite simply make your head spin. Take a ride with me down memory lane with veteran Hollywood actress Mary Lou Henner. July 22nd of 1978. Here we go again. <laughs> my, first, my first apartment that I moved into was 100 South Dongini, right down the street. So driving and along, the, all these different yeah, things. Just different little limits. things. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, Mary Lou is no stranger to the limelight. Let's have another warm welcome for Mary Lou Henner. In the 1970s, she starred in the sitcom Taxi. See, I'd really like to have one person there that I don't care about impressing. But among her family and friends, Mary Lou Henner has always been famous for remembering everything. Hey, Mom, what day was Valentine's Day in 79? It was a Wednesday. And you're right. I've never explained how you do that. I don't do it. I just see it. And you can remember your whole life. Yes, I can remember my whole life. And some things come up, like, right away. And then some other things kind of come up a little more slowly. But eventually, everything comes up. I thought I'd see just how far back Mary Lou's memory goes. Well, then by all means, just come to my party. Picking at random, an episode of Taxi filmed more than 30 years ago. Thank you very much. I had a look at the Taxi episode from 1978, Come As You Aren't. Do you remember? Oh, that it? was the fourth episode that we shot, and I had the blue dress on. Alex? Yeah. See, that was going to be my first question to oh, you. Oh, do you remember what uh, colour oh, dress you yes. wore to the party? Yes, yes, yes. So and, so you, oh, and, and I remember doing. Tony's line How come we can't go to the party too? How come we can't go to the party too? <laughs> you know, it's like things come back. A line to Alex You're maybe my best friend. You're maybe my best friend. And he turns around, you know, it's like the episode will come back to me and I remember... Mary Lou is one of just ten people in the world who've been tested and proved to have superior autobiographical memory. October 1st, 8th... Total recall of every day of their lives. Extremely impressive. Delta Airline Flight 191 crashes near Dallas, Texas. Oh, I know exactly when that happened because uh, it was August the 2nd of 1985. It was a Friday. Such a gift has never been documented before. And scientists like Professor James McGaw are excited about where it may lead. Uh, one of them said it's like a Google search, that you put it in and, and it just sort of and there it is. And it, 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 it's the year, and it's the month, and it's the day, and it sort of narrows in, and it goes bang, and they've got it. And this all happens very quickly. It just, there you have it. That's how they explain to you how they do it. Yeah, it's not a scientific explanation. <laughs> <laughs> I understood it, though. <laughs> it really is like selected scenes on a DVD. So how does it work? If I throw you a random date, say the... 8th of September, 1985. Okay, so I know 8th of September, 1985 was a Sunday. It's like 85 all of a sudden kind of lines itself up and it gets completely organized sort of in a timeline way and I see the whole calendar sort of fall into place. It's an extraordinary skill and one that Mary Lou is thrilled to have. For others though, like Jill Price, who was the first person to be diagnosed with this remarkable condition, it's a burden. Is it driving you crazy on the inside? Yeah, sometimes it does, yeah. I mean, I really just want to be screaming at the top of my lungs most of the time, and I can't do that. So I have to keep everything in check. When did you realise you had this ability? About five weeks after I turned 14, and I don't really know why on this day exactly, February 5th, 1980, but from that day until now, it's every day. And so, you know, you pull a date out, boom, it's like I'm right there. Every moment of every day? Every day, yeah. 